All right, we are in uh, hell. We're in hell, folks. Uh, welcome to hell, uh, J Dog, Black Widow, Dance Lover, Delcoon, Niskis, Idle Duck. Welcome to hell. Uh, we're on the Bleeding Citadel. Okay. Welcome to hell, Letty Ave. Mm, oh, I didn't have that. There. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Everybody's in. Leveling up. Oh my god, it's so nice. It's so nice to have a uh, specialization saved now. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so good. Welcome to hell, Prince Quinevere. Pumps are pumping and fans are but Well, the fans have always been a-blowing. Uh, one thing I, you know, when I turned my computer on this morning, man, I have to, I'm gonna have to check IQ every time because uh, it's not respecting my, like, it's not respecting the settings on the pumps and the fans. Always. So, like, I made a custom pump curve um, to keep everything cool after the whole flush and fill and uh and it works real well but i feel like it's i feel like i'm overworking my pump but i feel like that's all i like that's the only thing i have available to me is to is to overwork it it just feels like after now after after you know dealing with all this and looking at pumps and stuff um like other ways other uh, systems are set up it feels like they they designed the flow of this cooling system wrong what it feels like but i don't know i don't know for sure it just feels weird it feels weird because what happens is i've got a pump here like in the bottom right hand side of the computer and there's a radiator. I've got two radiators. There's a radiator behind it, and there's a radiator at the top, right? So what happens is the fluid comes out of the pump and goes into the radiator in the back. And then comes out of the radiator and goes up into the GPU. Which already means I'm pumping down and then up through a radiator and back down and out and then up a pipe. So there's got to be some good pressure. And then it goes into the GPU and then out of the GPU and goes up. After after coming out of, assumingly, a warm GPU up into the CPU with hot coolant, or at least warm coolant, and then out of the CPU into the top radiator to cool off before going into the pump and then into the other radiator? Am I the only one that feels like it it should it should pump out of a radiator should be in between the GPU and the CPU in my opinion like that makes sense like take the hot fluid out cool it off before sticking it somewhere else that's really freaking hot <sighs> I don't so it feels like they did it wrong, but maybe I just don't know. Maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know. It's totally valid. <clears throat> it's totally possible, but but the way I, I think about it, like a car, and if, if I had a car that had two engines and two radiators, and I took and the fluid came out of one engine and then went into the other engine before going through two radiators and back in the first engine, one of those engines would be screwed, right? Because it'd be getting hot water and wouldn't cool off at all. That's the way I feel. That's the way it feels like to me. So I don't, I don't like it. But right now, the only way that it feels like I can keep everything nice and happy, it is, it is a solid green light over there. Um, is, uh, is if I have my pump pumping 
at a higher RPM than than normally uh, it would be. So, because then it's then it's pumping stuff through quickly enough that everything stays fairly cool. And when I'm, you know, when I run a a, a, a program that tests like the GPU and would heat the GPU up, the GPU stays nice and cool. It's amazing. Because guess what? I mean, that's the cool liquid goes straight out of the out of the radiators and into the GPU. So of course it keeps that nice and happy. Uh, but when I run a program that heats up the CPU, the CPU is not happy. I have red lights everywhere. It's it's very bad. So yeah, maybe forgetting about planned obsolescence. Uh. I didn't pay this much money for them to build a computer and a custom well, cooling loop for it to be built in a way that will make the parts fail so they can buy it, so that I'll buy another computer for them. Because guess what? I wouldn't buy another computer from them in that situation, right? They didn't hook up the pump as a pump, uh, so you don't have any pump issues anyway. Uh, it's, it's and that's the other thing is... Um, like the way the pump is supposed to function is it's, is it's supposed to determine its speed based off the temperature of the coolant, which makes a lot of sense, right? Um, that makes it a, a whole lot of sense. Uh, however, I I am I have no way to know if they hooked the right temperature sensor up. Um, <laughs> no way to know that. Because it sits at a, even when the temperatures of everything else are running up, like the temperature that it's, the setting that it has, that, it, that it, it's giving off, doesn't really change a whole lot. So I don't think they did. I don't think they did. Hey, Bernalli, welcome to hell. All right, Lydia. And yeah, I mean, it, currently it's better than before. It's running cooler than before. So the new fluid is helping. It is helping. Uh, and the new, obviously the new, the custom pump curve is helping. But I feel like I have to plan for a future where I redo my cooling loop myself. Which means taking the whole computer apart because of the way that they did all the cable management and everything. I basically have to take the whole thing apart and put it back together to make sure all the things are hooked up to the right places. For the moment, everything's super nice and a dark green, right? Instead of a light green, a light green would mean it's getting a little closer to a little too warm. Now, I only have one client open, but I have one client open on all my streaming stuff. And it's super happy. It's super happy. Open all these chests. See what we get. Large potion of speed! Mm, Saturday, if you weren't here on Saturday, Saturday was Speed Saturday. Um, I got so many speed potions. I had medium potion of speed. Nice. I got so many speed potions. And I think that was two small potions of speed. Yeah. But I just kept getting medium after medium after medium and lots of larges, which reminds me I need to pop a speed potion. Whoops, sorry about that, folks. Uh, yeah, but it was great. But I mean, that's what happens when we can spend, you know, all of these gems that are coming in, uh, just on, on gold chest. We got lots of epics. I opened one chest, got two epics out of it on Saturday. That was nice. Medium potion of speed. All right. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I forgot. I got to close my door.
I forgot. I came in with my hands full of pizza and root beer and couldn't close the door. Huge perishing of clairvoyance. We needed this. This is what we needed for our next deep run. That was that was we have all the other epics, so that's great. That's a great pickup. Um, okay. Come on. Eared clips of the clan. Nice. Bruner's got another epic. And we got a beating potion speed. Right. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I don't really care about that stuff as much, but sure. An early epic on Adept Traveler. Nice. Beat the pity timer on that one. We were only like four chests in. Two two chests in. And we get another epic. Tyrell's Health. That's fantastic. And another medium potion of speed. We're doing great. We're doing great. Uh, let's see. Bruner's up to four out of six. Tyrell is it the three out of six. That didn't help him a whole lot. But, uh, Zarka finally two out of six. All right. They definitely needed those epics. Uh, yeah, see? Now we have our one huge part. So now we've got one through here. we got multiple click damage ones on the hill. What are we going to do with those? Just bank them, I guess. Uh, but yeah, now we're ready for another deep run. We're not going to do that for a little while. Because uh, we got... We got E30 Favor and Tiamat, which which got us maxed through Tier 3, and then a good chunk of Tier 4. So we don't want to do another deep run until we're shooting for 2.5 E44. And that's a lot. We're going to need a lot of pushing power to get there. So I feel like we want to get all the way through this and we want to get like the patron stuff done here in Avernus before we, if we can, before we do another deep push. Weekly party no longer a thing or do you need to restart? You have to restart. It's, it's, oh God. I guess I got to restart too. Oh, there's all these buttons up there. None of them are the, are all these icons and none of them are the right one. One of these days, they'll just put a reset state, like reset game state button in the game, and you just hit it, and it'll be like restarting your client. That'd be great. Uh, no, I don't. Never mind. Never mind. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what's going on. What the? What the what? We wait for some information on that. Uh, let's pump in some electron chest codes. Is that is that mine today? Pulp user coop or pulp user co-op? Okay, sure. I think it's a co-op, folks. I think it's a, I think it's a co-op. What I'm going with. I think this is we already have this one, right? Yep. Yeah. Alright, let's check. Did we get anything? Nope. We're just more hunting blues. Blues and speed potions, folks. Nope. Nope. Hey, the secret of the Oberskyers. There's a Havilar blue. Okay, so I think she's done now. I think she's full blue. And a large potion of speed. I'll take it. Abby, you done? She's done. Nice. Nice. 
Okay. So, that means... I think we only have two left. Yes, Egbert and Whittle, I believe. And we'll be blue or better on all of our champions. Hey, Texag, hey, Shevik, hey, Plum Bob. Plum, Plum Bob. Plum Bob, Plum Bob. Plummy Bob. No, <laughs> it's one of those days. I started opening Diana Chess over the weekend. I did 14 months to knock out two Pity Timer epics, but instead I got all six epics and three dupes. What? With 14 chess? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That's a lot of item levels. That's a lot of item levels. That's great. That's great. Did we get any? Okay, no time gate pieces yet. Oh, hmm. excuse me. I can go to the shop and buy some. Look at me go. Look at me go. Shopping episode. Come on, let me buy. There we go. Boom. Boom. Shopping episode. Now I've got three time gate pieces. Yay! So you got three motor and component chests and give me garbage, right? Right. Yep. Garbage. There's there's more garbage. And there's even more garbage. Welcome to the Modron game, everybody. <laughs> ah, I'm reading names like David now. Oh, God. Your name and a plum bop. So it is kind of pl so plum bob is kind of correct. My family again. It's not. That's not usually how gaming works. <laughs> that's not usually how gaming works. Hey, folks. Uh, if you didn't know, Wednesday uh, we're getting an entirely new campaign in Idle Champions. Entirely new campaign. Vecna, Eve of Ruin, shows up on Wednesday. As does a new emergence event, and it's a Vecna emergence. Vecna is the plural of Vecna, apparently. Vecna, V E C N A E. So, new emergence event, new campaign. Who dis? Uh, we're going to get probably, it's probably just going to be two adventures and a variant for each of them, and then one tier of blessings. So, don't, don't be like, oh my god, there's going to be tons of new content. That's not how this game works. That's now this game works. <laughs> so. uh, yeah. But it'll be fun. New campaign, new emergence event. And with the emergence event arrives two new pirate skins. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It gets Di Pirate Diana and Pirate Azaka, right? I don't know. It's effectively it's gonna be default uh for both of us. I mean, come on. Did I write did I write that down for next week's Dev Insights? I did. It's like we have, if we get more pirate skins, we gotta have a we gotta have pirate referenced questions for for Dev Insights. Scar's Guide to Coolant Replacement going to be available? No, no. no. Uh, how do emergence events work? Uh, basically, um, they're pretty straightforward. Uh, some kind of enemy. In this case, it's going to be lots of Vecnas. Vecnae, excuse me. Lots of Vecna. 
Vecna appearing over and over and over again. Different Vecna. Take a different Vecna. Uh, from different multi, it was from different, you know, multiverses. Are going to be uh, flooding free plays. It's specifically free plays. Uh, now you can also, and, and you have to kill them. Uh, when, you know, every so often, it's like event tokens. Every so often they will drop a corrupted gem and uh, and a fixed number of corrupted gems will drop over the course of the event. Um, so it is time-based, like event tokens. Um, but then you'll also get daily quests. And, and there's, one day, there's one quest a day, and it's always the same quest. It's kill 100 of whatever the emergence is. Um, so you basically, you just want to make sure you're doing like a free play a day, uh, to at least get those hundred kills in to get your daily quest. Cause that's, a, that's like half of the corrupted gems available usually is from the daily quests and the other half is from drops. Uh, and then you can always catch up on the rest of the, like if you're running behind and you're not always maxed out by the, by the end of the event, you can always just hop in a free play and then just farm the rest of them up. Um, you can also uh, go to any campaign adventure or variant where Vecna exists and and get some kills there. But really, the it's just there's there's tons in a free play. So just doing a free play every day. Yeah, no, no, no. It's not a whole page of quests. It's super easy. It's really I I kind of feel like it's a passive thing as long as you're doing free plays. Now here's the challenge on this account. I'm not doing a lot of free plays actively, so I'm, you know, crossing my fingers that they've made that it, that it's going to work in the background because I got, I got, I got free plays going on in the background, and it can be a patron free play. It's just any kind of free play. So, so we'll see. We're going to find out if if that works well on my account. Otherwise, just like on my main account, I just do actively do free plays. Gem farms, basically. You do you do a couple gem farms, and, and you do a gem farm a day, and you're caught up usually. Or a couple gem farms. Barware shopping this week. I mean, I'm buying lots of gold chests. Um, what else did I get? Uh, bought like a, one of those like those squishy like gel like uh, cleaners for like your keyboard and your desk and stuff unless we're gonna see how that works out you're gonna see how well that works out but that's you know probably the extent of my shopping for the week It is nice now I have, uh, you know, some extra tubing for the computer for the future if I do want to uh, redo it. Because I only used a small section and one attachment thing for the drain. Uh, and I have the fill bottle still, so all I would have to do next time is just buy another bottle of coolant. The gelat is not a cube though, but it is kind of like a gelat. Yeah, it's basically it's, they're they're interesting. I will I will try it out and then I will let people know after I get it. It shows up later this week. Then you should add a pirate garo, or they have to add garoar first. But then yes, I think the launch skin would need to be. <laughs> The launch skin pack for Garowar would need to be Pirate Garowar. Come on. It would need to be a skin and familiar pack. It would be Pirate Garowar and Swordle the, the Bard familiar. That would be great. That would be fantastic. I do remember I talked, we're about to have an ad break, and I'm just going to keep up this conversation even through the ad break, folks. Uh, 
I did talk, I think, to Pete once about, like, Red Dwarf, you get the best of both worlds. And the fact that in Warhammer, there are there are effectively, like, pirates. There are dwarven pirates. They're, they're slayers, usually. So it's, you know, no armor, uh, dual-wielding weapons, or just one big weapon. But on a, on a ship, you'd want to dual-wield small weapons for close quarters, and, like, tight spaces and stuff. And, and that's just like, I mean, convert one of those, convert one of those into a, into a D and D character and just let it go wild. Be great. Brace of pistols, and throws an ax, pulls a pistol out, fires it, chucks the pistol, picks the ax back up, goes back to work. <laughs> That'd be fantastic. What are we gonna get to? Five hundred. The good news is we're gonna like a thousand gems. Building our stockpile of speed potions. I want to have like a nice big stockpile so that I can then be like, oh. All of, and now I'm gonna save up and get the the Al Mirage, right? And then hopefully not run out of speed potions on the way there. Oh my God, why are we still doing quick damage level up? We should have been doing uh, quick fire breath potions. It makes way more sense. Okay, so fire breath potion activated. Let's see how long that lasts. I don't know what parrot, a pirate, a dwarf would have. Oh. I mean, it's not always a parrot. Sometimes it's a monkey, right? Uh, huh. I'm like the Zentrum have those winged snakes. So you gotta find something that that makes sense. A, a tamed owlbear is way too big. You cannot keep a uh, a tame owlbear on a ship. Uh, it just wouldn't have it wouldn't have enough room to run around and burn off its energy. It would be an unhappy out there. Hmm. See. Trying to find lists of things that people usually use as like familiars. You know what would be great is just a, a little miniature uh, wind elemental, like air, air, air elemental. That would be perfect. Because it could, like, blow enemies off of ships and stuff. 
Because that's really what you want. You want something that just, like, knocks the enemy overboard, takes out of the combat so you can finish what you're doing. Ooh, an otter. Huh? Huh? Because it's, it's good on land and water? That might be neat. I mean, an animated weapon is obviously it would be a fantastic thing as well. But I think for things that are alive, like an otter would be cool, or a small air elemental. Ooh! No, oh, no. This is. This is... This is mean. This is super mean. Uh, a hive of bees. Huh? 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 This is it's parked somewhere on the ship and just comes out and like on command and attacks things, carries them, makes them like and run overboard. There you go. I recommend to use the paid time gates before or after a free one. Um, I, I would wait. See what you get in the natural time gate. Um, and then after you unlock that one, then then you can... Go. Because the worst, the, the worst thing ever is that you open a manual time gate. And then you get the natural time gate. And it has the champion that you just picked, right? So since it's going to be 24 hours, just, just wait. Well, drone. Uh, uh. I mean, look. I'll, I'll tell you what. Um, it would. It would kind of depend on like, is the pirate dwarf the captain or a member of the crew? Because like a member of the crew, I feel like an otter. Uh, Higher, higher ranking member of the crew, like the first mate or, uh, or something like, then you then you might have a, a hive of bees. Uh, I feel like an air elemental is more like, no, actually, well, so it would be like the, the quartermaster might have a hive of bees. Where the cook, because the cook also would use the honey. First mate could have like the air elemental. Um, yeah. The captain's got to have, I think the, oh no, quartermaster would have, no, the bosun probably would have a, a miniature gelatinous cube that scrubs the decks. Eh? Eh? I'm coming up with a whole, now we're coming up with a whole ship of, of pirate dwarves now and their, and their familiars, like their little pets. The, the captain would have a mimic. The captain would have a pet mimic. Absolutely. And the pet mimic would change shapes. Either it would be a barrel on deck, like that looks like it's lashed to something, 
that would come alive and defend the ship when necessary, or it would look like a captain's chest in the captain's room and protect the captain's space. Well, that's, well, that's. Yeah, something like that. There's so many otter puns. Well, there ought to be. That one was too easy. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta be careful when diving into otter puns because before you know it, uh... no, that's it. No, I'm not gonna do that one. I'm not gonna do that one. I'm, I'm, I'm using self-control, folks. <laughs> not something I do often. <laughs> Now, I see now. No, trying to bait me out. No, I'm keeping it to myself. Almost there. We flew through that. That was that was pretty quick. Like five hundred areas in le in less than a half an hour. It's because of the it's because of the overall speed they were getting to. I guess. I don't know. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't want to use an hour-long speed potion. Hold off on those. I may hold off on those. I may burn these mediums. I'm mad to. Oh, We don't have the damage. Well, that didn't help either. Um, wow. Well. Like, I don't want to have to change things. <laughs> Just give me the ultimates. Alright. 